Welcome to another video from explainingthefuture.com. This time I'm going to talk about increasing the human lifespan. Across the 20th century, improvements in diet, living conditions and healthcare increased average global life expectancy from 35 years to about 70. Developments on the horizon may also mean that in the 21st century, average human lifespan may double once again. Beyond access to basic healthcare and adequate sanitation, up to five cards may one day be in the hand of anybody trying to play the life extension game. The first of these is diet and lifestyle, with eating and acting to improve life expectancy already a choice that many people can make. Beyond consuming healthy food, avoiding noxious compounds, exercising regularly and taking antioxidant supplements, there is even the extreme option of a cron diet. Here, people reduce their intake of calories by 20-40% to 40 while still consuming enough vitamins and nutrients. Studies have shown that cron diets lessen the degeneration of stem cells as well as reducing the incidence of cancer. In animals, cron diets have demonstrated up to a 40% life extension. A second future life extension card is genetic medicine. Fairly soon, pharmacogenetic tests will allow doctors to prescribe traditional medicines according to their patients' individual genetic makeup. Genetic therapies are also likely to be developed. For example, stem cells may one day be injected to repair damaged heart muscle or to treat Alzheimer's. We may even use genetic therapies to take control of our regenerative genes and to prevent cellular decay. For example, promising research has suggested that the natural ageing process can be slowed or even reversed using an enzyme called telomerase that protects the tips of the chromosomes in our DNA. A third life extension card involves replacement and augmentation. Many damaged or diseased body parts can already be replaced with a prosthetic or a donated human organ. Cybernetic limbs controlled by bionic neurons or brain interfaces are also in advanced development. We may one day even humanise pigs with human DNA to enable the transplant of their organs into people. As discussed in my bioprinting video, in a few decades we will also start to print out replacement human organs using a culture of a patient's own cells. Due to all of these developments, the chances of death due to organ failure will thereby be reduced. Bodily augmentations to increase life expectancy will also take place at the microscopic level. For example, medical nanobots are already being developed. At present, these detect a particular disease or deliver a specific drug. However, in time, generic nanobots may be injected to function as supplementary cybernetic antibodies. These would then constantly roam our bloodstreams to seek out and destroy infections and mutated cells. A fourth potential life extension card is cryonics. Already some companies offer this service and will freeze a person's body in liquid nitrogen when they die. The hope is that in time techniques will be developed to enable their reanimation. This could involve the use of nanobots to cure whatever killed them and to repair any damage caused by the freezing process. Insurance policies to pay for cryonic suspension currently start at $30 a month. If interest grows, there may in future be thousands or even millions of people 
silently frozen in vast catacombs, awaiting their second coming. Finally, entering the realms of current fantasy, our fifth Future Life Extension card is uploading. Here, neural interfaces will be used to allow the human mind and memories to be uploaded into a computer. If such a process could preserve consciousness, then this may allow somebody to live forever by downloading their mind into a succession of robotic or bioprinted bodies. Alternatively, uploaded individuals may simply roam and muse eternal online. For at least some young people today, a ripe old age of 200 or more may be a possibility if they can become affluent enough to afford what technology will put on offer. Somebody alive today may also be the first to be uploaded to a cybernetic body or to achieve digital immortality on the web. More information on life extension can be found on explainingthefuture.com. But now that's it for another video, and remember, the future is in your hands. Music